everyone. Today we are going to make Shanghai style wontons. The wonton skin we can buy it, but the stuffing we should make ourselves. Today we are using watercress and ground pork to make it. First, wash and pick your watercress. Then, briefly boil the watercress for about a minute until it shrinks in size. Then, pull it out and rinse with cold water, otherwise the leaves will turn yellow. Now, squeeze out the excess water, but don't squeeze too hard, otherwise you'll drain out the flavor. Before we start chopping, separate the watercress. Using your knuckles, lay your knife vertically against them. Don't stick out your fingers. Slowly, move your hand and knife backwards. We want it quite fine. For this recipe, I'm using the same amount of pork to watercress. You can change the recipe according to your tastes, but remember not to put too much of either ingredient. Let's season the pork first. If you're using a pound of pork, then we'll be using a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of cooking wine. If you don't like the taste of cooking wine, you can use white pepper instead. Now, mix the pork together. If you feel the texture is too dry, you can pour in a little water but make sure not to put in too much water as the watercress has moisture in it. Mix until you feel the pork mince is smooth. For the watercress, if you're using about a pound, season it with a teaspoon of salt as well. Mix the two ingredients together. Again, if it feels dry, you can add in more water. Now that everything is ready, let's start wrapping them. Take a wonton skin. There are two different sides. One side has flour on it, the other doesn't. Take the side with the flour and face it down. Place the stuffing on the other side. If you are just learning how to wrap wontons, don't put too much stuffing. Use your middle finger and dab some water. Wet the edges of the wonton skin. Then using your thumb and index finger, close it up but don't close it fully. Instead leave a gap at the top. Grab the corners with your index and the thumb. Then using your middle fingers, push the middle and use your index fingers to flap over the skin. Your middle finger should still be damp, so use it to wet the corners and stick them together. Now, close up. Same steps as before. When you place in the stuffing, make it long like one side of a rectangle. That way, the wontons that you wrap look nicer. We'll wet the edges, fold it over, push the middle, flip over the corners, then stick the middle together. There are two ways to prepare your wontons, boiling and pan frying. Let's start with boiling first. In boiling water, put in your wontons. Once they're in, stir them so they won't stick. Make sure you've put in enough water, otherwise they'll stick as well. Put on the lid, and once they start boiling, pour in some cold water and put the lid back on. For fresh wontons, when they float to the top, then they're ready. But for frozen wontons, after you've added cold water once, add it one more time and boil it again. 
Doing it this way also ensures that the wonton water comes out clear and the wonton skins aren't ruined. Now, let's fry them. Turn on high heat and put in about a tablespoon of oil. Put in the wontons and make sure each one has some oil on the bottom. When you hear the pan sizzle, you'll know it's ready for the next step. We're going to pour in some water and make sure each wonton has been drizzled with some water. Put on the lid and let it steam for 3-4 to four minutes. By then, the water will have dried up. When you hear the pan sizzling again, turn off the heat and we're ready to plate. Plate them facing up so they stay crispy. That's today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.